Hello, this is a tough video, tell a friend video, and this time on the hidden power of putting such a tough video online. Now, what is a tough video? Well, um, the, the name comes from tell a friend. Now, where does the friend come from? It comes from Mr. Adler, who is a um, the kind of a guy that lived together with Jung and Freud in Vienna at the same time. And um, he treated every relationship he had with anybody as a friendship relationship. And um, I fully um, appreciate and I fully um, support his belief in this. And I, I do it in exactly the same way. That is why I use friend in this. The other thing is, if I talk to a friend about something, let's say I explain something to him, there is no retake. Yeah. So I, I never say to a friend, please leave the room and come back and then I start over, forget everything I said before and then I... So, so there's no retake, it's one. And the second thing is, there is no cut. Yeah, there is never, uh, in a conversation with a friend, there's never this uh, word or this sentence to say, oh, wait, um, could you give me an hour so that I can do some Google research, read some books and so on, and then I come back and I continue my explanation. So this is kind of the, in, in one minute, what a tough video is. Now, what is the hidden power of putting such a video online? So, in a tough video, what you usually do is you explain graphically, as I do here, you explain like a, a line of thought, what you think about a specific topic, this depends on this and this, and there are different reasons and so on, and then there are different people, and they do something and so on. And when you do this tough video, sometimes it happens that you come to a place where you can kind of hesitate and think, what, is that true? So, and then you rethink, maybe during the video, you think, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. But here, that's not good. And then you might, you know, finish your video, like, and then your conclusion. But what happens now is that your brain, and for this, I always like to draw the model of the brain. So this is kind of your brain, the intellect, the limbic system and the reptile brain. And what happens with this here is you now know that this part is online. So there are, I put them in green, you know, green and red people that actually, um, and black people and, you know, they all look at your online video and what the online video says, you know. So, and now you know that. So you, you this is your brain, you know they are watching. So the limbic system may have uh, a belief to say, I only say true things. Yeah, this could be. Or uh, I do not want to seem ridiculous or not uh, competent. Yeah, so that is what your inner belief system says. And so what happens is your inner belief system says to the intellect, intellect, please, please fix this. Go and fix this. And the interesting thing is that 24 hours on 24 hours, the intellect will now check what is happening here. And so in your subconscious, that's because often it's not known to you, you will, so the limbic system asks for it, the intellect will work on it. And it will spit out after, you know, one day, two days, three days, it will spit out, you know, an explanation how to do this. And maybe then after three days, some days, you'll be able to say, well, it's it's like this here. We needed a, I don't know, square or three dimensional. We need more areas. We have a conclusion that goes like this. And then you said, oh, fantastic. I solved it. But actually it was the limbic system that kind of got his, uh, got a little bit anxious that it didn't fulfill its, um, like it believes, ask the intellect to come up with a solution. So you get that 
so you get kind of knowledge knowledge for free that's fantastic you know it's all for free excellent and so this is for me this hidden power uh, of putting such a video online thanks for listening and looking forward to the next video bye bye